Hi everybody, my name is TJ. I'll be doing um, some basic machining for a person on uh, the welding website that I hang out on. His name is Austin Pace. Um, there's been a, a post regarding milling slots or making slots. A lot of guys want to use uh, um, die grinders and certain uh, carbide cutters. That's fine. Um, I told him I can do it for him. I told him it should take about a half hour to do on a bridge port. I have a digital readout. It's an old J head bridge port. Uh, the ways are pretty much worn out too. Again, I'm not a machinist. I don't claim to be a machinist. Uh, if you do want to see a lot of good machining videos, uh, go to YouTube and search Keith Fenner. He's a uh, phenomenal machinist and he has a lot of great videos. So what I'm going to be doing is I'll reset the camera up so you can see what, what I'm doing down here and I'll narrate through what we need to do to get this done. Uh, basically what I'll be doing is again milling slots in the plate for um, Mr. Pace and we will be using quarter inch plate. The dimensions are 6 by 8 um, and here's a drawing he gave me. It's a Word document uh, and we're going to be milling simple spots in the, uh, in the plate. Uh, I believe they're an inch and a quarter long. I did some basic math to find the center. And after we do that, we'll uh, get to work and I'll reset the camera up. Okay, so the first thing we'll be doing is finding the edge here. And we're going to use a steer edge finder. It's a pretty simple procedure to do. We're going to find the edge of the X, and we're going to find the edge of the Y, X and, X and Y. Um, and this wobbles to a certain point, and then you're able to find, when it smooths out and then kicks out again, you're able to find the, uh, the center of the edge. So, thousands because the end of the tool is two hundred thousand so you want to come in halfway I'm looking at my digital readout now you can't see it clear that zero that out so the Y is now this edge is now at zero I'll do the same for the other edge Clear it out, bring this back to zero. So right at that corner I'm at zero, zero. So right, right here. So that means the center of the spindle is right at the edge of the corner here. So that's my zero, zero point. So according to Austin Pace's drawing, we are going to uh, basically make slots with everything centered. Uh, the whole slots are 4 and 7 sixteenths apart uh, on the x-axis and um, 3 and 3 eighths apart on the y-axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the center first. So we know that the, the part the plate I cut is exactly 
8 inches wide. I milled each edge so it's square. So we're going to come over 4 inches and then we're going to come down uh, 2.9925 inches because the width of this is actually 5.9850 inches. It's not exactly 6. So we're going to come over the distance on the X axis of 4 inches. I'm looking at my digital readout. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, now I'm at four inches, so I'm right at four inches, and then I'm going to come down two point nine nine two five. Make sure the Y is not locked. Two point nine nine two five. There's other ways to do this, but this is the quickest way I find. Easier to find the center of everything and then work your way out. I'm sure other people watching could say, oh, I could do that faster, but I'm sure you can. 9, Two, five. We can lock that. We'll zero it out for now. So I'm right in the center of the plate. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way back to get this the center of where the slot's got to be over here. So we're going to work our way back up. Unlock the Y. Unlock the X. And we're going to come up one 0.6875, which is half of 3 and 3 eighths. One point five, one point six, eight. One point six. Eight, seven, five. So now we're going to unlock the X, which it is, and we're going to come over 2.21875, which is half of 4 and 7 sixteenths. 2 2.21875. 2.213. 2 2.21875 2.21875 2 go. That's good right there. Okay. So now we are in the center location where that slot should be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to center drill that and make my little tank mark there. Okay, I don't know why the camera didn't pick up me milling the last one. I turned it on. I don't know. Anyways, so I milled this slot out. Now I need to go over here and mill the other one out. I need to take the end mill out of it because there is a point on here. It does drill a hole, but it takes a long time. So I'm going to swap that out, and then I'm going to come over 4 and 7 sixteenths over here. And again, I did not move my, my Y. Right now I zeroed it out. Everything's zero, zero here. So I could do that right now. 
we will come over 4.4375. See right there. Okay, we're not building the space shuttle here, so it could be a few thousand off here and there. It doesn't matter. Okay, so now we need to take the end mill out, put the drill truck back in. Take the collet out. Drill truck goes in. Lower the table a little bit. I will give it a center drill first. Zero, zero, everything's locked. We'll drill that out. Again, this drill bit's not seven sixteenths, it's twenty seven sixty fourths. Again, not to make too much of a hole in that slot. So, you, so it looks like very smooth. so you can see what's going on. I'm going to put the end mill back in. Tighten it up. Now we gotta bring the table back up. Make sure we're still at zero zero. Bring it up. Give me the power feed knee, huh? That should be about right. Check the camera, bring it up a little bit so you guys can see what's going on. Bring this down. Again, we got to come. 4.0625 each way. So, turn it on, give it some juice.
So now we have the other slot cut, it took a couple minutes, not too bad, a lot faster than a drill, than a uh, die grinder with a carbide cutter on it. So I'm not going to show you the other ones, but I should be done in about 10 minutes total. But there you have it, two slots are ready in the exact spot where he wants them. So Austin Pace, this is coming back to you very shortly, thank you. Okay Austin. You're all set, man. These are all slotted. I just got to clean them up a little bit, get rid of the sharp edges, and it matches your drawing. So that's, uh, that's how you do slots in a, in a plate. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you.